112 million years ago, a monster lurked beneath. Not a dinosaur, not a fish, something worse. Say hello to Sarcosuchus Imperator, the flesh crocodile. 12 meters long, eight tons of fury, a jaw that could crush bone. In ancient African rivers, Sarcosuchus ruled the water, silent, waiting. Its eyes pierced the water, hunting for prey. When an unsuspecting dinosaur or giant fish drew too near, it struck with lightning speed. Six feet across, a hundred or more teeth, jaws powerful enough to crack shells, snap limbs in two. Fossils show it preyed on young dinosaurs along riverbanks, acquiring its nickname, the Dinosaur Eater. Ancient rivers flowed before the Nile sliced through what is now the Sahara. There, Sarcosuchus reigned, armored, patient, killer. Its snout could detect vibrations. Lungs allowed it to stay underwater nearly an hour. Then, one bite, one kill. But kings can fall. As rivers evaporated and the climates shifted, its world vanished, and so did it. Millions of years passed, and desert winds exposed its bones. In 1964, paleontologist Philippe Taquette excavated the initial fossils, bringing back a long-dead killer. Through science, we discovered the most ancient ambush predator, ancestor of modern crocodiles. Smaller nowadays, maybe slower, but still with the same ancient hunger. For every ripple in a bog, every pair of shining eyes reminds us that the age of monsters never really ended.